Hey guys, what's up? Lee Price here, Mixed Martial Help. I'm just back from coaching at the gym. I'm just about to make myself some lunch and I want to answer the question, which is how do you deal with an opponent who's always disengaging? Not somebody who's dodging shots, slipping and moving about and trying to hit you back, but someone who's just jumping away, disengaging all the time. What you've got to be careful of if you just chase somebody down, you're going to create opportunities where you're going to walk onto shots and they're going to nail you. Anything that you walk onto is going to be twice as effective. I should know, I do it a lot. Now one of the things you'll see if you go and watch some, some of my fight videos is that I do like to step off. I always seem to find myself taking last minute bouts against heavier people so I had to use strategy and I had to use footwork to get myself out of trouble. So I'd move away, just out of range, so it would annoy them, they'd miss, they'd get mad, and they'd try and catch me straight away because I seem so close. But bear in mind I'm out of range, so when they step to me, I can easily sit back, you know, jab my heel out, throwing hard side kicks, hard back kicks. So their body weight does the work for me. So if you're fighting a sneaky bugger like me, what you've got to do is really cut them down, go to the side first, don't go directly at me. If I move away, I want you to come at me. Okay, what you've got to do is you've got to either stalk in slowly or you've got to start moving to the side, okay? Now, it's going to change depending on how you're fighting. If you're fighting on open mats or perhaps you're fighting in a ring, you know, or in the cage. But the rule of the sports are going to change the rules of engagement. You know, it's going to change completely. We all throw roundhouse kicks, but they're going to look different based on how you score the points, based on your strategy to win, right? Now, when you stalk somebody and you walk them down, you've got to keep a good guard. You don't want to walk onto those shots, that's obvious. But what you also need to work on are fakes and feints. Because if you're finding someone who's very cagey or someone who's ready to disengage, you need to get a reaction out of them. Because when they move, when they disengage, that's when they should be off balance. So you need to move in and either fake the start of shots that are making them move or feint. Pretend that you're going to throw a shot. Get them moving, get them reacting, okay? That's when they're gonna make a mistake. You should never ever just chase straight at them, okay? Use strategy, move your way around. Oh, mate, this is going to give me some power. Peace out, you guys. Let me know, do you have any strategies to share when you're fighting against somebody who disengages all the time? What do you do if you're fighting someone who tries to frustrate you like that? Comments below. Peace. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm Lee Price, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mixed Martial Help. Now, I'm a lifelong martial artist. I've been training for 22 years. I've trained various styles, mostly in striking. And this is my online home where I like to share striking tutorials. I like to share training tips and also video logs on book recommendations and also other little things that are going to help you in your martial arts journey.